Nice little Wildwood, uh, about a 26, 27 footer with a super slide rear bathroom here at Halo RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Um, by and large, I mean used, but really not beat up. Pretty well kept all in all. You'll see, you know, normal signs of, um, you know, usage. Like they did install the, uh, the slide out awning topper here. It looks like at some point the wind had flapped it a little bit. Uh, you can see right up in the corner, it has uh, stress torn a little but it's still very functional. I don't really think there's anything wrong with it, but it's there. And that's the kind of stuff you deserve to know about before you come and spend a bunch of money on something like this. We like to try to give you more information than virtually any other dealer is willing to, um, you know, just so to, for your benefit, you know, we're here for our clients. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, if, if you look at this one and say, well, you know, it's just not the one I want, then you know that, you know, you're working with a place that you can trust to give you good information so you can make a good decision. Uh, but again, by and large, that's other than just a quick bath on the outside. There's there's really nothing to take away from this one. Uh, local trade, um, you know, everything works on it. Basically, the story behind it: Grandpa and Grandma really liked it, but grandkids started camping with them more and more and more. So they swapped her out for a bigger, longer bunkhouse here at Haylets of Coldwater, Michigan. And that's pretty much all there is to know about it. There's no, you know big history of uh, you know any sort of damage or abuse or anything like that just a good use camper that you know is back on the market big super slide in here is what's going to give us this big big living room you see you've got lots of floor space in here where this is going to be really nice is on a rainy day when you guys are trapped inside you've got all this extra floor space where you can just kick back and relax you know if someone's over here cooking in the kitchen you don't have to worry about bumping into them and doing the travel trailer shuffle and, and bugging each other because this is, you know, when you're out in your camper, it's supposed to be about fun and relaxing. Um, good three season camper, central air, central heat, that'll help keep you comfortable. You know, pretty much any time the parks are open, this camper's going to serve you very well. Um, I do like, if you notice, there is linoleum flooring from the uh, bedroom and entryway all the way back to the bathroom. And that's going to make keeping this thing clean extremely easy. There is a strip of carpet right in front of the slide out, but that needs to be there. Um, the slides uh, that are floor flush like this kind of need a little bit of carpet to glide on uh, right when they start to kind of angle down to a rest floor flush level. I spotted this. I thought this was kind of cute. I'm guess guessing this is uh, something of their, their, their life mantra or motto there. Now, naturally, anytime you have a dinette or a sofa, they can fold down into extra sleeping spaces. So you can, uh, you can sleep four here pretty easily. Um, unless they were little kids, I wouldn't try to squeeze much more than that in here if you could help it. Um, rear bathroom back here is extremely nice. Let's, uh, let's start this direction. First of all, uh, you've got lots of leg room in front of the stool. So if you're a tall guy like me, this one can actually fit you. Now, uh, in addition to the normal his and hers wardrobe cabinets on each side of the bed up front, we do have an extra very tall um, hanging closet here. What I like is because this thing's so tall, you can put things like small brooms or little electric vacuums or something in there. Uh, we do have a nice medicine cabinet, so you have a place to keep all of your uh, you know, toiletries off of the, the bathroom counter so it doesn't just look like a train wreck here all the time. Um, the uh, shower here, we have a standing corner shower, not a travel trailer tub, and that's something that I like. Uh, you know, when you have these corner showers, it doesn't have quite the drastic step up when you get into the shower. So you do have more headroom in here. So again, taller people, rejoice. You actually have a shower you can use without necessarily sticking your head in the bubble. And then another of these extra tall hanging wardrobe closets. So you actually have four hanging wardrobes in total in this RV. Um, five or six dresser drawers, lots of good storage space. You know, this is something you can leave packed pretty heavily and only have to, to load up things like, you know, extra, you know, perishable food on your next trip. Um, the, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, one thing I do like is this big uh, double sliding door to the bedroom over here. And that's what helps give this thing an even more open uh, floor plan. If you have a couple guests, you can actually almost use the end of the bed like a sofa, kind of as an extension of the living room, but at night you do have a pair of pocket doors over here that can close off to make the uh, the bedroom a little more private and comfortable. Um, corner entertainment center here, very common for uh, the year that this was built, and you do have an extra little coat closet or utility closet right when you walk in the door, and I love that because when it's spring or fall, 
Um, you know, you want to, you're putting on a jacket, you take off a jacket from time to time throughout the day. It just depends on where the sun is in the sky. If you don't have a place to put a coat, you have to walk all the way through your trailer. You have to track dirt into your bedroom. With a, with a uh, coat closet by the door, you may not even have to walk all the way in the trailer. You can walk up one or two of your steps, grab a coat, go back outside. And uh, one thing I do like to point out is when you look around this entertainment center, you don't see where they had scarred up the wall, screwing things into the wall panels and whatnot. I see a lot of people do that, adding newer flat screens to older trailers that weren't necessarily originally designed for it. These folks didn't do anything like that. They were not big on modifying things from factory spec. They just took care of it, and it treated them well. And that's the biggest thing. The, a lot of RVs, you know, they're all built different. Uh, they're all the best for different reasons. And you get out of them what you put into them. If you take care of these things, they take care of you. Uh, and one more quick thing to mention is both sides of the bed do have little uh, stands right here. And this side of the bed does have a power outlet. So if you have something like a CPAP machine, you're all set. Now, there is not a, a power outlet right here for the same purpose, but two feet away or three feet away you do have a power outlet over here generally intended for the television stand but I mean with a, a little power cord you could easily run that over to the bed if you needed alarm clocks or fans or again one of those those breathing machines so give us a call 800-256-5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater Michigan thank you everybody take care stay safe happy camping